In 2021, Harry Styles launched his own beauty nail polish and apparel brand called Pleasing. Now, I've never actually tried anything from Pleasing, which might be uh, really shocking coming from someone who has dedicated at least half their life to this man. Yeah, let that sink in. But it makes a little more sense why I haven't ever bought anything from them when you look at the prices of these products. If you were unaware, this stuff is um, very out of my budget. <laughs> But I'm here today, hole in my wallet, ready to give you this brutally honest review because I did uh, buy a few of the products because honestly, my curiosity got the best of me guys and I can't take it any longer. I just, I need to try these things out. I need to try these things out. Also, the packaging was just too cute. And I was like, hey, I actually need to like, see this stuff on my bathroom counter every day. Over on TikTok, I asked you guys to tell me which products you want me to try because obviously I can't get one of everything because then I would be exponentially more broke than I already am. So I asked you guys what were the top things you wanted me to try. Um, so I bought this stuff and spent a whopping $126.31. This stuff better cure all of my problems because what the f***? We'll get into a price breakdown in a minute, but oh my god. Guys, I, I nearly keeled over after pressing that order now button. I tried getting something from every category, beauty and skincare, there's nail polish, and then there's apparel and accessories. However, unfortunately, I did not get anything from the apparel category because y'all will not catch me spending a hundred and ten dollars on a hoodie. I will say though, if they had the pink pleasing hoodie in stock, I would have bought it. But it, it's out of stock, so like, it's not happening. It, I didn't get any clothes or accessories or anything. This is not the point of this video, but like, I just want to say the brand itself confuses me a little bit because I'm not sure who it's targeted to. Harry's name is actually nowhere on this website. If you just stumbled across pleasing, you have, you literally would not have any clue that it was Harry Styles' brand. I feel like the only people buying this stuff are fans of Harry. I don't know if that's even their market. Like, and it's called pleasing, yet there are no <gasps> toys. Like, what do you mean? Like that. They should get on that. <laughs> Let's get into the products that I bought. I have a few things to say about how this stuff was packaged because for the amount that I spent, um, you'd think there'd be like packing peanuts or like bubble wrap or any sort of protective anything to protect these glass bottles from shattering in the mail. Um, yet there wasn't and it is literally, here's the box, paper, and then all the products. One of the products even um, came outside of its box. It was just sitting. So, um, I would really love for them to fix that. In buying from each category, I tried getting something from every drop that they've done just so I could spread out, you know, all the stuff. Plus, I wanted all the cute packaging. So, starting off the first drop, classic pleasing drop. I have the pleasing pen here. Like, you can't lie and tell me this packaging isn't stunning, though. Here's the box. This was $30. Let's read what this is. The pleasing pen's two potent serums are delivered with cooling steel rollers to refresh lips and eyes. A fresh eye gel awakens tired under eyes. Helps diminish signs of aging and creates lasting hydration while the Demi Matte Lip Treatment replenishes lips. Okay, so it's basically a lip and eye serum. Okay, cool, cool. That is the eye side and then the lip side. I don't understand why it needs to come in one product and they couldn't have done it separately. Next up from, uh, again, I just don't know any of the drop names. Their packaging is so cute though. I will not discredit them. Like this packaging is adorable. Okay, so these are the acid drops. Lucid Overnight Serum. This was $35. This overnight dream gently reveals a bright replenished glow, resetting the skin from the effects of stress and pollution. Helps remove dead skin cells. Refines the appearance of pores resulting in smooth lucidity. I think this is just like an exfoliating serum type thing. We have the bottle. Ooh, there's like a pull it out port. Port. There's a hollowed out part right there. It comes with a dropper. Cool. I don't know why it couldn't have just <gasps> Oh my god, wait, it came with a it came with a sticker. Guys, there's a sticker back here. <laughs> it came with a sticker. Last up for like beauty products. It's the Pleasing X Marco Ribeiro. In this drop, they released a bunch of makeup products. They released a palette of pigments. They also released this gloss medium. This is a blendable high shine gloss. This was $25. Uh, this gloss formula creates brilliant. 
This gloss formula creates brilliant shine for lips, eyes, and skin. Use alone to quench and create radiance, or as a medium to create a shiny, sheer finish with powder and cream color. I saw people using this mainly as lip gloss um, ever since Cherie on TikTok was raving about this. Um, so I'm excited to try this, but you can also use it on the eyes, which I think is really cool. I do really like this packaging though. I don't understand it, but I love it. Am I doing it wrong? I think I might be doing it wrong. Oh, okay. That is strange. The top part spins also where the spatula is. She looks thick. And this was the thing that came out of its package. Like, I don't know why. It was just sitting on top of the box. <laughs> and then the last thing I got, again, from this, I think it's Shroom Bloom. Is it? The last thing I bought is some nail polish. Obviously I had to buy the nail polish, guys. I feel like they're most known for their nail polish because that's, I think, the only thing we've seen Harry wear is the nail polish. He wears it all the time. Again, this is just stunning. Like, that is so pretty. Just from the aesthetic point of view, um, just looking at the nail polishes, I really think this packaging is cool and different. This is the shade, the whole Duneverse. They have a lot of nail polishes actually, but I chose one that I felt I would wear a lot because I never wear nail polish. So I didn't want to get like a crazy color or anything. I opted for this like, whoa. <laughs> Almost dropped it. Um, so I opted for this like clear base with iridescent flecks in it, which I think is really cute. Do you want to know how much this was? One singular nail polish. Do you want to know how much this was? $20. I spent $20 on nail polish. Is there anything I wouldn't do for this man? Like, that is absurd. Forget all the other stuff. I can excuse some of the serums for being a little more pricey. Nail polish though? You can get a pack of four for $65. Why would I buy this when I can just go to the CVS and buy my Sally Hansen Instant Dry Polish? Because I know that's gonna work. I don't know if this is gonna work or look good or anything, um, but my $20 also gets me decals. I paid $20 for nail polish and stickers. It is the same sticker I got um, in the other box. Hello, she's back. But then we've also got little stickers for your nails. I don't know if I want to put these on my nails or not. They're like too cute. I have a thing with stickers where I don't want to put them anywhere because then I feel like it's permanent. Like I don't want to waste it on that is my pleasing haul. To really give you the best review possible though, I'm going to be trying these products out uh, for the next few days, three days-ish. So then at the end, I can give you uh, a great review. Hopefully, hopefully it's a positive review because if it's not, then I wasted $130. And none of us want that. I think I'm gonna start actually by putting on the nail polish. So let's switch to a better setup and uh, start painting these nails. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I'm here at my desk. I have the nail polish right here. Let me shake her though. I feel like I don't hear anyone talk about the nail polish. I feel like people just buy it to have it and then don't really say anything. Okay, cute. It's gonna be barely noticeable, but that's what I like. I don't like drawing attention to my nails if they're painted, unless I like have acrylics. It's all or nothing for me, baby. I will say though, no matter how good this nail polish is, it will not justify the $20 price tag. I'm sorry, it won't. Like nothing about this is gonna make it worth $20 unless it comes with like a $10 bill. I think Simply Nail Logical reviewed the polish. So if you want a better nail polish review, then obviously watch the nail polish polish queen talk about the nail polish and not me. How do they look? Do they look good? Yeah, it's very subtle, but I like that. Let's see how fast it dries though. When I got my grimy little hands on Harry's uh, Better Homes and Gardens magazine, the first thing, before I even opened that damn magazine, the first thing I noticed was his nail polish. That shade, like perfect nude shade. It was so beautiful. And I almost bought that one too. The, uh, the brush, it is really flimsy, I feel like. I knew that was gonna happen. It just dripped. Um, so basically if you just missed what happened, it dripped off the brush. I feel like it's really liquidy. Like it is just dripping very easily off of the brush. I think it's dry already. So I'm just gonna put a little top coat on to make sure it stays. You know, I wanna give this nail polish a fighting chance. Okay, now that my nails are painted, you are literally not gonna be able to see. I promise you there is some iridescent on my fingers. Well, I'm gonna see you when I'm trying the next set of products. Try the placing pen first. I'm gonna do the eye serum side. It's a roller ball. Cool. I don't ever use eye serums. It's 
a serum on my eyes. I'm gonna tap it in. I feel like it doesn't really have a smell. It feels nice. Let's do the lips side now. I don't know how I feel about this being a rollerball. It's so early 2000s of him though. It doesn't smell like anything. It also does not feel like anything on my lips. It said it was a demi matte, I think. So basically it's just matte. I feel like I just added the tiniest bit of like oil to my lips and then wiped it off. And now I'm left with like a residue of an oil because it's not oily. Now we're gonna move into the acid drops. I am obsessed with this bottle though. Like it is so funky and like fun. Now this, the instructions say to put on one to two times per week before bed. I'm gonna put it on my hand, I think, and then put it on my face. What is this? Oh, that smells like something I use. It really sunk into my skin. Right now it just feels like a good serum, I guess, but it is supposed to be like exfoliating. Obviously I can't give a like valid review right now of this, but so far so good. First night using these two products, done. I continued to use the skincare products for the next couple of days. The Pleasing Pens Eye Serum was really cooling and refreshing and made me look really awake. But the lip side, the texture was throwing me off. It was a little weird, okay? And the acid drops felt like a really good serum and my face looked really bright after using it. But now let's move on to the last product I have to try, which is the gloss medium. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm currently doing my makeup. Pretty much my entire face is done. Just need to do my lips. So I thought what better time to use the gloss. I already lined my lips a little bit. Let's just put it on my lips. Oh my God. Maybe just a little, a little more. Oh my God, that was maybe a little much. Wait, I kind of like it. It's pretty glossy. It's not sticky at all. I'm gonna see how this wears. I think it is kind of absorbing into my lips a little bit, so it's not as glossy as it was when I first dipped it all on. I'll keep you updated, but for right now, I like it. One hour later. It's been like an hour or an hour and a half-ish. So I wanted to give a little update on the gloss. It's still glossy. I haven't reapplied it, but I'm gonna have to wear it more to see what my true thoughts and feelings are. Now that I have finally tried out all of the pleasing products that I bought, it is now time for my final review. <laughs> It has officially been about a week of me trying these pleasing products and now I'm gonna give you my final thoughts to wrap up this video. Let's start with the first product I tried, the nail polish. Actually, after having this on my nails for a week and then, um, picking it off like almost completely <laughs> because that's just what I do and that's why I never paint my nails. What I've learned from wearing this is that it is just nail polish. <laughs> just nail polish. To me, this is no different from any other nail polish I could go to CVS and buy right now. I'm no nail polish expert. I don't know if the ingredients make it better for your nails or what, but I genuinely cannot on good conscience tell you to go and buy $20 nail polish. Who would I be if I sat here and told you to go for real buy this nail polish for $20? I would be a liar. <laughs> because no, no, it's not worth it. Unless you really love the packaging of these because honestly, it is pretty cute decor. Maybe just don't buy this shade or any of the clear shades. The only thing that makes it special is that it is by Harry Styles and has this funky packaging. That's it. Smash or pass, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but once again, not for $20. Those are my thoughts on the nail polish. On that shade, at least. The second thing I tried was the pleasing pen. I don't remember how much this is. This is $30, so 15 for each, if you want to think about it like that. Which, actually, that breakdown isn't terrible. $15 for an eye serum, not terrible. $15 for, like, a lip. I don't even know what you would technically, like, it's not a lip balm. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of... Like, I don't know. It's not fully a lip oil. It feels more like just straight up, you know, like essential oil. It also doesn't smell like anything, which I actually like about all the products. They have no fragrance or scent, which is great because fragrance in skincare makes no sense to me. I actually found myself enjoying the eye serum and I think it did make my under eyes more hydrated. I think I fully decided I don't like the lip end of it. I just, I'd rather use any other lip product. Aquaphor. Aquaphor is the goat. I don't like how it's matte. I think that is the thing that threw me off the most. Not because of how it looked, just because of how it felt on my lips. I feel like it it did nothing for my lips. I don't think I'll find myself using the lip side very much, but I mean, the eye serum side I'll probably continue to use in my skincare routine. I'm unsure about this one, okay? The third product that I tried were the acid drops, which were the exfoliating overnight serum. This is the most expensive product that I bought. This is $35. 
dollars. And honestly, I mean, it looks like a lot of product, but it's 0.94 fluid ounces. It feels like a lot, and the packaging is really hefty. I do really enjoy this packaging. I think it's really cute. And actually, I do like this. I do like this. Again, though, I can't tell you to go and buy a serum for $35. That seems so extreme when you look at brands like The Ordinary, who are creating serums for like $10 that are doing like the same thing. I will continue to use this to get my money's worth out of it and I did notice that my skin texture specifically was looking better after a few days of using it and none of these products broke me out which I'm thankful for. It also kind of looks like um like a what do you call those like a pacifier. That's what that looks like. Yeah. I'm gonna smash this but we're only having like a one night stand. Like I'm not gonna rebuy her. Yeah. The last product that I tried was the Pleasing X Marco Ribeiro Gloss Medium. I am so conflicted with my thoughts about this. I thought this was gonna be really good. I had really high expectations for this. Well, truthfully, I had high expectations for most of this stuff because of how expensive it was. This is, like I said, a gloss medium. It's a face, lip, eye gloss. It's very multi-use, which is awesome. Um, it's only only. Oh my god, guys. Pleasing is infecting my brain now because I just- I almost just said this is only $25. Maybe I'm just f***ing cheap, but like, you can find a bomb ass gloss at Ulta or the drugstore for way cheaper, but I, I mean this one is different because it is not necessarily a lip specific gloss. It is one that can be used all over your face, but it's not my favorite gloss that I've ever used on my lips. I feel like I put it on my lips and it looked really, really bomb. Like my lips were glossy. And then after a few seconds, half of it like sunk into my lips and then it just looked like I had been wearing lip gloss for six hours. Still gonna use it. Again, I'm gonna use all these products because I paid a lot for them, okay? So I'm gonna use them. It is not my new favorite gloss. I'm sorry, pleasing. I'm sorry. I'll keep trying it though because maybe I'll come around to it. I don't know. Overall, I just feel pleasing is so out of budget for 90% of Harry Styles fans. I still don't understand it. I don't understand it as a brand and I just, it feels like a money grab to me. Fully, 100% feels like a money grab. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, at least. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe down below for more videos from me. All right, I'm gonna go like try and get some like extra freelance gigs on Fiverr so I can keep paying for this hole in my wallet. Okay, bye.